what is going on traders and welcome back to the channel if this is your first time here welcome i'm glad to have you now in this video i'm going to be going over my watch list for the trading week of june 6 2022 let's get to it all right so the catalyst for this week the only thing that i saw was the may inflation data coming out on friday so that may affect friday's price action but other than that we'll just keep our eye out for anything that comes up throughout the week all right so let's go ahead and take a look at this week's earnings calendar. All right, so this week we have some consumer staples and some consumer discretionaries reporting this week. The ones that I'm going to be keeping my eye on is Academy Sports, Dave & Buster's, uh, Five Below, Neo, and DocuSign. I'm also going to be watching to see what Skillsoft says during their earnings report because they recently integrated their uh, platform Percipio in with Workday. And if you're not familiar with Workday, it's like a HR all-in-one resource. So they're going to be using this platform to train their employees in different skills. Okay, so Skillsoft may say something within their guidance that may boost the stock. Uh, and make it run a little bit. So I'm going to be keeping my eye on that one also. All right. With that, let's go ahead and get started with our watch list. All right. First up is going to be Academy Sports, ticker symbol ASO. Now here I have it pulled up on the weekly chart here and I marked out some consolidation ranges that I'm going to be watching. Now Academy Sports normally reports good earnings. So in a bullish scenario, if they can stay above 3480, they're right now they're sitting at 3473. If they can stay above 34.80 by the time of their earnings i'm looking forward to first test around 36 dollars and 75 cents if we can get above that the highest i'm looking for it to go is around 38 dollars and 50 cents now in the bearish scenario if they report bad earnings for some odd reason i'm looking for it to come test around 32 dollars and 75 cents on the high end and you can see quite a few times one two three four five six seven eight eight times that it's bounced off around thirty dollars okay so if they report bad earnings the lowest i'm looking for it to go is around thirty dollars to the downside so keep academy sports on your watch list and let's see what happens all right up next is going to be five below ticker symbol five now here i have it pulled up on the weekly chart a couple things you should know about this ticker that it normally moves around nine dollars per day and trades around 5 million shares per week. But on the weeks of their earnings, it normally doubles that amount of volume to up to 10 million shares for the week. I'm telling you that. So if you're looking at the usual volume for this ticket, you're like, man, I'm not trading this. This thing isn't even gonna move. But when their earnings come up, it doubles, all right? So just keep this one in mind for this upcoming week. Now, when it comes to their earnings, they normally beat on their earnings, but not by much. So first, the bullish scenario, if they can stay above this $130 level where it is right now, the first level that I'm looking for to test is around $137.75. If it can get through that, the next level is around $141, okay? Now, if they uh, report bad earnings or give bad guidance for the future, the first level that I'm looking for to uh, test if it can't hold around $130 is $115. You can see the last two times that it got within this consolidation range right here that it was bought back up. So if it can't hold this $115 level, I'm looking for it to get within this range and to get bought back up with a low of around $101. Okay, so keep uh, five below on your watch list and let's see what happens. All right, up next is International Business Machines, ticker symbol IBM. Now here I have it pulled up on the weekly chart here, and you can see that since April of uh, 2021, it's been spending a lot of time between $119 and $142. Every time it gets to the top of this range, it comes down. Sometimes it respects this 200 week moving average. If it breaks beneath it, then it gets all the way down to around $119, $120, and then it rides right back up. Right now, you can see the last two weeks that it ran up and it tested this $142 level once again. 
Now I haven't traded this stock before, so I probably will paper trade this to see if it does what I think it's going to do. Right now, if it gets rejected by this $142 level, I'm looking for it to come down at least to this 200 week moving average of around $126, okay? So keep this one in your watch list and let's see what happens. And if it does what I think it's going to do, then we'll probably will play this one in the future, all right? Okay, up next is going to be Visa, ticker symbol V. Now here I have it pulled up on the weekly chart here. And it's probably another one I'm going to paper trade just to see how it moves. All right, so I did mark off this consolidation range that it spent since around May of 2020. It spent a lot of time in this range here before breaking out and hitting this all-time high of around $253. Since then, it sold off and revisited this level again and got bought back up. Now this level around $215.60, it's broken above it a few times, but a lot of times when it gets to this level, it has a hard time breaking above it. It's sitting at this level right now, and I'm looking for this upcoming week. If uh, uh, Visa cannot break above and gets rejected by this $215.60 level, I'm looking to paper trade this one to the downside and to see if it comes retest around $200.50, all right? So if you're interested in playing this one with me, just go ahead and keep this one on your watch list and let's see what happens. Okay, and the last one we're going to be looking at is Microsoft, ticker symbol MSFT. Now here I have it pulled up on the weekly chart here, and we're going to zoom down to the four-hour chart and take a look at it. And you can see that this $269 level has been a nice bounce point for this stock. Right now it's sitting at $270. So if the market is bullish this upcoming week, I'm looking for it to stay above this $269 and move all the way up and possibly test around $295. If the market is bearish, I'm looking for it to hold. If it can't hold this $269 level, I'm looking for it to come down and test around $259.75, okay? So keep Microsoft on your watch list and let's see what happens. And that is the end of the video. If you found value, please smash that like button and consider subscribing. Here's wishing you a prosperous week of trading. And until next week, talk to you later.